Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'll actually show you how to use um, the plugin Taluno LX. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, similar to how I used uh, Omnisphere using Dummy Clips in Ableton Live. So let's get started. So again, we'll uh, create a new MIDI track and delete this audio track. And in this MIDI track, I am gonna drop in Taluno LX. Um, I'm not going to rename that, uh, pretty simple. Now, instead of uh, creating um, an instrument rack, uh, you know, if you notice, I just dropped in the plugin, just like normal. Um, and instead of chain selector, we're actually going to use um, program change to switch between the different presets. Um, and what I did before I continue with this video is I went through these presets or I created my own and saved them in a new folder in a presets folder that I created myself and just pretty much uh, created a favorites bank um, up top so just remember this order so if you notice that this is the very first uh, bank that shows up and like the, the factory banks go underneath it. This is important because, um, well, let me let me continue my video and I'll tell you why it's important. So, all you need to do is create a dummy clip, double click, and in your, you actually don't need your envelopes open, you just need your notes open, your notes uh, MIDI editor. Um, all right, so when you see, um, you actually ignore the bank, ignore the sub-bank, and this is where you create um, your program change. So, I select program one, and let me rename this to one, oops, sorry. And let's open up. Um, so you see that's uh, your default. Um, when I click this clip, it actually opens the first preset in the very first bank that shows up. So that's my favorites bank. I just named it EW uh, for the worship team I play for. <laughs> um, and so like the first uh, program change, it shows up um, as this first preset that I favorited. Uh, let's change it to two and see what happens. It'll just, and then hit, hit play, switch it. Hey. That did not work how I wanted it to. Hold up. All right. And now it should have worked. Hold up. Nope. Okay, I see what happened. It just didn't change this list. All right. So if I change to three, um, just it's, it changes to thirty-one base one. And you can see it changed to three. So does it? If it makes sense, um, I could. I could probably have um. You see, you could have for your whole set list. You can have 128 of these um, these presets in your Tal Uno LX um, favorites bank, um, and just load that up with like 128 of your favorite um, patches, and just call them up using program change. And that that's pretty much it. Um, it's way simpler than Omnisphere, um, just because you can't have multiple. Um, multiple patches in Talon LX is a lot more simpler. Um, uh, that's probably wrong English. It's a lot more simple. Um, but um, it's a good thing. Um, so that's kind of uses multiple patches in one instance. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much my whole video. It's pretty simple. All right, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.